In this video, I'm going to give you guys a complete guide on how to complete the Easter egg on House of the Damned's new map in Skur Ritual. This will go over both the casual Easter egg as well as the hidden Easter egg so that you guys can get the achievements for yourself. Shout out to Adept's team inside the Skur Ritual Discord server for getting first in the world on this hidden Easter egg. And shout out to my teammate Best of Zombies and myself for getting second in the world on this Easter egg. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. On screen right now, I will show you each and every breaker lever, one through six, where they are in the house and the pathway that you guys can use to get to them starting from the spawn room. Once you've flipped all three in the correct order, head down to the basement again and flip the main lever to spawn a small ring around the machine. You simply need to stand in it until its progress is completed and you'll be done with the first puzzle. To begin our second puzzle, head upstairs to the kitchen and interact with this gas tank. Another ring will spawn surrounding this gas tank and you'll need to kill four demon hags around it to fill it up with gas. One should automatically spawn when you activate the gas tank, but if you guys are curious on what a demon hag is, it's these old lady zombies that are able to shoot gas out of their mouth. Now that we've contained the gas, we need to direct the gas. There should be five levers you can find through the drywall around the house by meleeing or throwing molotovs in the areas where there's white X's on the wall. Your job is to locate and identify five different levers from these pipes through these wall breaches and interact with them. There are 10 locations in total and I'll be showing you each location in the background gameplay right now. After you've moved the five levers, now all you need to do is interact with the following three pressure gauges, and as long as all three stay active, you should be done with the second puzzle. For the final puzzle, we must open the furnace and then fuel it. Go over to the mannequin room over here and push the button at the bottom of the stairs. This will activate a black light in one of the corners in the mannequin room that you'll have to go over to to see a four digit code. The code is the god faces themselves and you simply need to remember them from left to right and input them above the furnace in the spawn room. Once the furnace is open, you'll need to kill zombies until you can get five entrails to spawn and then insert them into the furnace one by one. I believe any enemy can drop it. It, but it's random when they'll actually drop it. Once you've placed all five in, you'll have completed all three puzzles and the power will be on and you'll be able to escape the house. Proceed to leave the house and head over to the ritual site here to interact with this stump. This will then begin a chain quest that has three different parts to it. You can do these in any order you want, but once you choose one, you have to finish it before you can work on the other two. In no particular order, we'll begin by explaining the cross that's on the well. Head on over to this well top and grab this cross that's on top. You'll then need to place the cross into this coffin indicated by your game right over here. Then you'll need to destroy four urns. It doesn't matter the order that you destroy them, just as long as you destroy all four of them. Eventually, they will start to glow orange, and that means that you'll be able to damage them and they'll be vulnerable. The following four locations I'll have in the background gameplay sped up right now, but they're all outside and they're very easy to identify. Now the coffin will be open and we can grab a stick of dynamite. With the stick of dynamite, we'll use it to destroy the well top, allowing us access to a secret hidden room. In 
inside of the secret hidden room will be a couple things, but most importantly, we'll have the wonder weapon that is just stabbed into a zombie's corpse on the ground, and you'll be able to grab the meat grinder. You can buy the door at the top of the staircase here to get out of it, and we'll need the meat grinder now for the next step. Now you must find three bodies that are indicated by your game's UI on the white diamonds, to shoot their corpses with the meat grinder, which will then open their guts up, and you can grab a heart literally from within. It's a pretty gruesome step, but once you have all three hearts, you can place each of them one by one in this small dish nearby the ritual tree stump here. For the next quest, you guys will need to open this door here and grab this head. Pull out the head inside of the gutters here and press interact on this wall that has this kind of rectangle glowing spot. What you'll now need to do if you're in a solo game is grab a self-revive token if you don't have one. This is because we'll have to kill ourselves and then go into the uh, gutters. Inside of the tunnel here, you'll find a hidden door and you'll be able to go inside and pick up or place down, not sure which one it is, the Book of the Dead, which will re automatically revive you and it will unlock this secret room for you to traverse to. Next, you'll need to remove the seals. By using the head, you can identify three different symbols around the house that all you have to do is go up to and press interact on in order to dispel them. Head back to the book and pick up the Book of the Dead. Place it on the remaining spot in the ritual site and it'll be on the last quest chain in order to complete the casual easter egg. The next quest chain I'll quickly go over is the portrait on the wall. Go over to the living room in the house and interact with his portraits to spawn in three bosses, Abraham, Isaac, and the stranger. Once you kill all three of them, place the missing pieces you've collected from them on the portrait and you'll be able to fill a soul box around the fireplace. Once the soul box is full, grab the portrait and go play it on one of the spots in the ritual site. The final step before the boss fight requires you to use the head once again to find a ghost father. He's kind of a big fat dude and he wanders around whenever you get near him. This is an escort step where you'll need to take him to four different locations and get souls in each spot. The following locations will be on screen as well as the same order that you'll get every game. Graveyard, Supercharger, pig, and the mannequin room. Once he's been filled up in all four spots, make sure that you bring him over to the ritual site by taking him through the gutters again, and then he'll eventually unlock the door and you can enter the boss fight. Make sure that you're adequately set up for this boss fight, as it is quite a challenge, but it's not too difficult. The only thing that I would really pay attention to is where his chainsaw is, as well as where his blades fly. He has several attacks that will try to attack you with the distance of the blades, or he'll summon a chainsaw and try to attack you. He also has a slam attack that can repulse you away from him. It doesn't do that much damage, but if you're trying to revive a teammate, this can completely disrupt the process, and you'll have to be a little bit more passive with your approach. Once you guys kill him, congratulations, you'll have successfully completed the casual easter egg for the new map, House of the Damned in Skur Ritual. If you guys want to leave the level, you're more than welcome to do so, you'll get some extra rewards for doing so, but if you want to stick around to complete the hidden easter egg, this is the part of the guide that we're now going to get to. To begin the hardcore easter egg, interact with the green wisp in front of the boss fight arena, and you'll notice that you need to shoot three goats around the map that have radio static that indicates that you need to shoot them. Similar to the previous maps where it was a mysterious man, now it's a goat. The following locations I will show on screen right now, but the one I already showed was just on top of the roof of the house. If you need to rewind backwards so you can check it out, feel free to do so. It's a pretty easy location to find though. And unfortunately, I don't have all the goat locations to show for you in this video. I know that there is a location inside the Wonder Weapon room. However, I did not get that goat location to spawn in any of my games, and there also might be more than six goats, but I'm pretty sure that there's just six. You should hear that noise to tell you that you've shot all three, and you can move on to the next step. 
The next step is timed, so you might want to watch this part of the video and then go ahead and do the step in your game because you will have to be very fast with this. But essentially what the next step is, is you need to use the meat grinder to shoot the pig's corpse upstairs on the, on the third floor of the house to get some damage numbers and then run down to the basement and push this button. Then run outside and push the other button. In between each button, you will have to shoot the pig again to start a new running sequence. And then once you've pressed both buttons successfully, Hopefully, you just have to interact with the pig again. This will most likely end your round, but it'll complete the step and you can hear the sound. The next step requires you to move number dials inside the graveyard building, but the number dials are correlating to what the animal sounds are making. You can hear the dog sound just outside the graveyard. You can also hear the pig sound where the dead pig corpses, and I believe you can also hear the lamb nearby the boss fight entrance, but I've never actually personally heard this myself. Worst case scenario, you can always just brute force it by doing the pig and the wolf first, and then you can do the goat. By listening to the sounds, make sure that you listen for the gaps in audio, because the longer the gap, that means that the message is repeating. The shorter the gap, that means that that's a sequential sound effect. The highest number can possibly be four, and the lowest number can possibly be one, so keep that in mind when you're doing the step. One, two, three. So yeah, the dog is three. One. Okay, yeah, so I think the pig is one. After you get the three correct numbers, you'll hear that sound again, and the head that you picked up here earlier will respawn. What you now need to do is grab the head and use it to find small lamb symbols around the map where you can find a hidden lamb medallion. In the background gameplay, I'm showing you the following three locations for where the goat medallion will be. It's random which one it'll be in, but these are the three spawn locations that it can always be in. Now that you have the lamb medallion, all you need to do left is place it in the spot inside the meat grinder room, and then all you have to do next is just get a whole bunch of kills, as it's a giant soul box. Once the goat eyes glow, and you hear the sound effect, you'll be on the last step of the easter egg. Okay. Okay, the round ended. So maybe you just have- maybe it triggers on round end, but in any case... There we go, and then now we just do the escort. And, uh, as you can see here, we just have to quickly escort this lamb to the ritual site, and then as soon as it explodes, once it reaches its destination, you just have to re-enter the boss fight and kill the boss all over again. There's not much different with this boss this time. There's more fireballs circling around the arena and more hot spots on the ground that'll deal overtime damage to you. Just be passive, play safe, make sure that you live, and use your elixirs whenever you get the chance so that you can top off on HP. And other than that, guys, yeah, that's good gonna do for this guide. Hopefully you guys were able to complete the easter egg and get the achievements for the hidden easter egg as well. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.